Hi all. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Jodi Engineering College. My name is Hari Shinvi. I am working as Assistant Professor in Department of Mechatronics Engineering, Jodi Engineering College, Cheruturuthi, Trishu. Today I am representing a special topic called the centrifugal pumps. So what do you mean by centrifugal pumps? Or before going to details of a centrifugal pump, one has to know what exactly a vortex flow. So vortex flow is defined as the flow of a liquid or a fluid along a curved path or the flow of a rotating mass of fluid. So vortex flow is categorized into two categories, free vortex flow and forced vortex flow. The best examples are whirlpool in a river, flow of a liquid through a hole provided at the bottom of a vessel, wash basin or bathtub, flow around a circular bend in a pipe system, flow of fluid in a centrifugal pump casing, flow of water in a turbine casing. Now let us see about the different types of pumps or broadly hydraulic machines can be divided into two types, turbines and pumps. So what's a pump? Hydraulic machines which convert mechanical energy into hydraulic energy. So the hydraulic energy is in the form of pressure energy. So if the mechanical energy is converted into pressure energy by means of centrifugal force acting on the fluid it is called centrifugal pumps. So the main root cause of the motion of the centrifugal pump is centrifugal force. Now let us see the different classification of pumps. The first type is called a rotodynamic or non-positive displacement pumps called the centrifugal pumps can be single stage and multi-stage. Then hydrostatic or positive displacement pumps or gear pump, vein pump, screw pump, low pump. Then reciprocating pump, piston pump, diaphragm pump. Then miscellaneous types pumps, jet pump. So let us see a rotodynamic pump. It's a kinetic machine in which energy is continuously imparted to the pumped fluid by means of a rotating impeller, propeller or rotor. So that is what is called a centrifugal pumps. Now in this video, I am going to represent about the centrifugal pump working. So there will be a basic comparison between centrifugal pumps versus positive displacement pumps. So in mechanics, centrifugal pumps imparts velocity to the liquid resulting in a pressure at the outlet or pressure is created and the flow results. But in positive displacement pumps captures confined amounts of liquid and it transfers it from the suction to discharge port. So there are a lot of basic comparison between centrifugal pumps and the positive displacement pumps as shown in this figure. So I want to see what are different applications of pump. So we have got a lot of applications of pumps in agriculture and irrigation works, municipal water supply and drainage system, oil pumping in, in oil industries, condensate and boiler feed water pumping in power plants, water treatment plants, transfer of raw materials in industry, hydraulic control systems. Now let us see a centrifugal pump. So it is the reverse of an inward flow reaction turbine. Flow in a centrifugal pump is radial outward direction. Centrifugal pump works on the principle of forced vortex flow which means that when a certain mass of liquid is rotated by an external torque, rise in pressure head of the rotating liquid takes place. At the outlet of the impeller, when radius is more, the rising pressure head will be more and the liquid will be discharged at outlet with a very high pressure heads. Due to this high pressure head, liquid can be lifted to a high level. Now this is the figure of an actual figure of the reciprocating pump, sorry the centrifugal pump. Now let us see the different parts of a centrifugal pump. The first one is called suction pipe, sump, impeller, casing, eye of the pump, delivery valve and discharge pipe. Now let us see how this will parts. So center classification of centrifugal pump comes under basics on shapes and type of casing, volute pump, volute pump with vortex chamber, diffuser, then based on direction of flow liquid through the impeller, radial flow pump, axial flow pump, mixer flow pump, then based on impeller, closed impeller pump, semi open impeller pump, open impeller pump, then based on number of entrance to the impeller, single end suction pump, some, and double end suction pump based on number of impellers per shaft, single stage pump and multi-stage pumps. Now these are different types of centrifugal casing, volute casing. Now let us see once again how this works. So whenever the impeller starts to rotate, what is going to happen is a partial vacuum pressure will be created inside the chamber or the casing. Thus 
the design of the casing is in such a way that the area of rotation is gradually increasing from input to the output or i of the pump to the delivery pipe thereby pressure decreases sorry pressure increases so as the pressure increases beyond the vacuum pressure there will be a huge pressure difference so that the water will be sucked through a suction pipe to the eye of the impeller so thereby after the rotating of this mass of liquid through the specially volute casing or spiral casing or vortex casing what is going to really happening is the pressure rise will be built up and the pressure increases so this high pressure rise to water will be again given to the required height or the elevation this is how a centrifugal pump works okay now the volute casing vortex casing and diffuser type the main purpose of this casing is to increase the pressure so the design is such a way that the area of rotation is gradually increasing from point to point so now let us see the different heads and efficiencies of a centrifugal pump the first one is called the suction head vertical height of the center line of the centrifugal pump above the water surface in the tank or depth from which water is to be lifted then a delivery head what is delivery head vertical distance between center line of the pump and the water surface in a tank to which water is delivered then what is static head hs so sum of suction head and delivery head constitutes this static head or hs so with this let me conclude a small video on the centrifugal pump because centrifugal pump has got a lot of or major applications in the daily life in our human being so with this let me conclude this video thank you thank you so much